Men never do evil so completely and cheerfully as when they do it from religious conviction. I would prefer an intelligent hell to a stupid paradise. Man is equally incapable of seeing the nothingness from which he emerges and the infinity in which he is engulfed. Knowing God without knowing our wretchedness leads to pride. Knowing our wretchedness without knowing God leads to despair. There's enough light for those who only desire to see and enough obscurity for those who have a contrary disposition. Man's greatness comes from knowing he is wretched. Kind words don't cost much, yet they accomplish much. You always admire what you really don't understand. Words differently arranged have different meanings, and meanings differently arranged have different effects. Kind words produce their images on men's souls. It is man's natural sickness to believe that he possesses the truth. Contradiction is not a sign of falsity, nor the lack of contradiction a sign of truth. We desire truth and find within ourselves only uncertainty. Truth is not an object to be possessed, it is a living thing recognized, cultivated by the mind and heart. Dull minds are never either intuitive or mathematical. Clarity of mind means clarity of passion too. This is why a great and clear mind loves ardently and sees distinctly what it loves. Small minds are concerned with the extraordinary, great minds with the ordinary. Distraction is the only thing that consoles us for miseries, and yet it is itself the greatest of our miseries. Nature is an infinite sphere whose center is everywhere and whose circumference is nowhere. Nature has made all her truths independent of one another. Our art makes one dependent on the other. The only religion which is against nature, against common sense, and against our pleasures is the only one which has always existed. Men seek rest in a struggle against difficulties, and when they have conquered these, rest becomes insufferable. The heart has reasons that reason cannot know. Passion cannot be beautiful without excess. One either loves too much or not enough. Nothing is so intolerable to a man as being fully at rest, without a passion, without business, without entertainment, without care. When we read, sorry. When we read too fast or too slowly, we understand nothing. Happiness can be found neither in ourselves nor in external things, but in God and in ourselves as united to Him. All of the human unhappiness comes from one single thing, not knowing how to remain at rest in a room. Power rules the world, not opinion but it is an opinion that exploits power. Little things comfort us because little things distress us. To understand is to forgive. In difficult times, carry something beautiful in your heart. Justice without force is powerless. Force without justice is tyrannical. 
Lust is the source of all our actions and humanity. Man's sensitivity to little things and insensitivity to the greatest things are marks of a strange disorder. The power of a man's virtue should not be measured by his special efforts, but by his ordinary doing. All our reasoning comes down to surrendering to feeling.